Hi folks, this is Connor McNeil with another edition of XPM's Expedited Explanations. These are short videos that help you maximize the value of Atlassian tools. Today I'd like to talk to you about the G Suite integration with Jira. This is an integration that allows you to manage your users in Google Admin and automatically sync those users over to Jira uh, and provision user accounts. Um, today I'd like to walk you through how to leverage that capability to best benefit your business. We start here on the Google admin side uh, in the user list. A lot of companies have hundreds, sometimes thousands of users in their, in their organizations, but we don't necessarily want all of those users to be created in JIRA. This takes us to the second place in our Google admin console, which is the groups menu. Now groups are how JIRA recognizes which users to give access to and which users not to give access to. In this particular case, we are only gonna sync group two to our JIRA account. Uh, this includes three users, Myself, test user two, and test user three. Test user one is not gonna get access. So once this is all set up and we have our groups created and we've chosen which groups we want to assign to Jira, we're gonna go to our Jira instance um, for your business. Now, once we're in our Jira instance, we're gonna go down to the bottom left to this settings button and go to user management. Now the important piece uh, for the Jira side is that you are an organization admin as well as a site admin. Uh, if you are not an organization admin, you will not be able to access the G Suite integration function. Now, the first thing we see is our user list. Now, right now, there's only one user, and that's me, um, because this is not linked to G Suite, so it's not bringing in any Google accounts. Now, if we go over to the left here, you'll see this G Suite button. Go ahead and click that, and it's going to take you into this G Suite configuration page. So go ahead and click Configure G Suite, Connect to G Suite, and what it'll ask you to do is connect your uh, Google account. In this case, we're connecting XBM Dev. Let's go ahead and click that, scroll to the bottom and click Allow. Next, you'll click Next to confirm the organization ID. And then you're gonna choose which users you wanna sync. We're gonna select a specific group, group two, and sync that to our Jira instance. And then we're gonna go ahead and start syncing users. Now, this process can take uh, upwards of a few minutes if you have a lot of users, uh, sometimes five to 10 minutes. Um, but in this case, it's only gonna take us about 10, 15 seconds. So now that it's synced, uh, we've got a couple options right here. We can edit the selected groups. So if you choose, you can go ahead and add group one later, um, or we can disconnect our account. Now, if you disconnect the account, this will stop Google from provisioning new accounts or deactivating current accounts. However, it will not delete any active accounts that already exist. So now to see the effects of our integration, we go to the users menu again and click refresh. And we'll see now suddenly there is three users, myself, test user two and test user three. Uh, so the integration allows us to automatically provision the accounts for any accounts in the Google admin side that's connected to this Jira instance. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in exploring uh, the G Suite integration with Jira further or want to talk to one of our experienced consultants, go to xpm.com and let us know. If this video was helpful, hit the like button. And if there's a subject you would like to see XVM discuss in the future expedited explanation, please let us know in the comments below. Until then, this is Connor McNeil wishing you success in all of your Atlassian adventures.